So Freedom Waters helps so many people and so many people from different backgrounds, and there are some that are helping others while they're being helped themselves. So we want to bring, introduce you to another veteran who has been part of the Freedom Waters family. Hey, my name is Don Talon. I'm 93 years old, and uh, I served in the U.S. Army from 1943 through 1945. I was a prisoner in the Germans for eight months. There were so many times, so many times when it became very, very uh, difficult and iffy that we were going to get, make it back. I first heard about Freedom Waters Foundation. It had to be from a fellow buddy uh, in, in my prisoner of war uh, chapter group. I signed up and a couple of the other fellows did too. That started a wonderful, wonderful, warm relationship. As our, um, I guess, relationship uh, in, in our family with uh, Freedom Waters uh, expanded, it became something we, we looked forward to. Uh, we were then reunited with our with our buddies and, and more buddies that we uh, uh, became acquainted with and uh, and their spouses too and it, be, it became one one great family we, my buddies all know too that the uh, freedom waters is more than just for the veterans it's for the handicapped uh for the children but we we just are so aware of the advantages of being out on the water being with these people, relating instead of sitting in the house and uh, thinking about things they, well, maybe we shouldn't. And it's because of the support of these wonderful donors to this foundation and those volunteers and those captains and everybody concerned with Freedom Waters Foundation, it, 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 just, makes, it just makes us all feel very, very warm. Thank you. Don, thank you so much. First of all, Don, we want to thank you for your service. Thank you so much for serving your country. Don, if you would just indulge us a little bit and tell us about your POW group. My POW group has now been disbanded because the attrition has taken care of us and we're down to a very pitiful view. Wayne Smith, uh, four and a half years in Hanoi, Hilton and me, and uh, there's not too many more that are walking, talking and so forth. Well, boy, we are glad to have you with us here tonight. Thank you so much. And I want to ask you, what, what does Freedom Waters Foundation mean to you? What does it do for you as a veteran, as someone who served his country and came back maybe with something they would rather forget? It's, it, it's a refuge. It's, it, it, it's, it's a place to escape from. Uh, we're, we're in a PTSD group, and uh, I think you all can appreciate the uh, uh, tremors and the... Uh, trauma with it and associated with that. And Freedom Waters gives us a reason to be out there and communicate with our fellow guys. And uh, it just makes it all worthwhile rather than cooped up and being alone. And you're an wow. eloquent speaker on top of it all, right? He's very eloquent. Don, you are a, you're a true role model for so many of us. Thank you, your passion. You're, you're, the way you handle yourself, it's absolutely amazing. We're so pleased to have you here, and, and thanks so much for all you've done for this country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Don. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. You have met. And that's what it's all about, the camaraderie, the friendships made, the differences made in people's lives, right? It's incredible. That was uh, very moving.
So now let me talk to you, what you've seen. If you met Freddie, if you met Emma or Austin or Don on the dock, and you knew that you could make a huge difference in their life by taking them out for a ride, getting them out to be one with nature, getting them on the water, leaving their troubles, their worries, their concerns behind, would you do it? Who, who here wouldn't do it? It would be easier to say, who wouldn't do it? Of course you would do it. But we could do it for so many more people. That's why we're here tonight. Your generosity is going to allow us to do that for more Freddies, for more Dons, for more Austins, for more Emmas, families associated with them. And so we're asking you to please be as generous as you can tonight because we are about to start one fantastic part of the program. And there's some great things for you to bid on tonight. And maybe you should get your table together for some of them because some of them are great things that all of you could do together. But please, when you're giving tonight, just picture the faces of Don and Emma and Austin and Freddie. And remember, you could be changing someone's life tonight with your generosity. Please give as much as you can. At this point, I'd like to thank Lois for, for joining us once again this year. You're amazing. Your energy, your passion, your intelligence, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Thank you. And I hope uh, you'll consider coming again next year. We love having you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you know what? By the way, I didn't hear her commit. <laughs> before I go, before I go, we're sitting here on the water in this great location, right? There are a lot of boaters in the room. Isn't that right? Yeah. Did you ever hear why the oyster never raised his paddle at the charity auction? Nope. Because he was shellfish. Oh. Ooh. Don't be the oyster tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Do not be the oyster. All right, Thanks I'm so done. Much. Thank you. A round of applause. Thank you, Lois. We really appreciate it.